Hello, in this video I um, want to expand a little bit and move from the uh, Vesica Pisces to the Seed of Life and then look at some connections to time, especially the uh, how to draw the 12 hour clock face but also how the um, amount of degrees and minutes in the compass of the hexagon also reflect over to the clock and to begin with I'm going to draw what's called the Seed of Life, so we place a circle in the centre and then we pick uh, any point on the circle hold it. and so now we have a Vesica Pisces, now I'll go to the point of intersection and that just fits the next one now we can start to see um, this sort of flat six petal flower arrangement and now we have what's called the seed of life and firstly to highlight the hexagon inside so yeah drawing gives us this will give us a perfect hexagon this is also in um uh, Euclid's elements, that's a, one of the proven points in geometry. So we have our hexagon. Um, hexagons are ubiquitous in nature, whether it's, um, you'll see it in planets like Saturn, in beehives, the way um, ice and uh, other crystals form. Why is a hexagon so important? Because it's a it's the most perfect shape in nature, and by that I mean that the edge length of the hexagon is equal to the radius of the circle. It's, it's essentially just made up of six equilateral triangles that are wedged together. And this um, perfect balance is the reason why it shows up so much in nature. It's also... Um, Triangles and squares are stackable, stackable, but the hexagon is a perfectly stack, stackable shape. So unlike a pentagram or any other shape, I can now well, stack these up and they come together very neatly and, and they're stable. And also they're the most efficient use of materials, which is why, also why bees have these. So structurally, it's very strong, but it's also very efficient. So the hexagon, how does that relate to time? So just a... Okay, we're going to highlight, mentioned earlier that as appears in the Vesica Pisces, we have this rhombus, which I should highlight better. So the rhombus formed by the Vesica Pisces, there are three of them that make up the hexagon, one, two, and the third. And we also showed that the interior angle there is 120 degrees. Therefore, the exterior is 240 degrees in the hexagon. Six sides, okay, so 120 degrees times six equals 720. 720 minutes per AM or PM. So every 12 hours, we have 720 minutes, the 12 hour clock face. The exterior is 240 times 6 equals 1440, 1440 minutes per day, per 24 hours. So that's a um, first nice little reference to time. There. Okay, and... Another seed of life, so we start with a circle and six circles around it. You can start on any point, and they'll all pass through the middle and create a hexagon. But what we're going to do next is show how there are actually uh, 12 points. Um, the circle, central circle of this seed of life, um, will be actually be divided up into 12. Um, Units now. I'm going to go in the center and we're going to uh, draw a clock. 
edge see I didn't do it so neat so there's a little bit that um, that doesn't matter for the moment okay this one will do so to begin with we can go through there's one two three axes there and that will divide the circle into 12, not, sorry, not 12, 6 points. So we're seeing our hexagon form there. It's been divided into um, 6 points. So this angle here is 60 degrees. But you'll notice 1, 2, 3, 4, five six and we can now just line up those points and go through the center okay now we've created uh, a wheel of 12. Side we have our hexagon which consists of 720 degrees altogether, 720 minutes in AM PM, or the exterior of the hexagon is 240 degrees, 240 times 6, 1440, 1440 minutes per second. So again we see how the minutes and uh, degrees, minutes and seconds in a compass will work back towards um, hours, minutes and seconds in the clock. Now, while I'm here, so um, we began with our hexagon, so now I'm going to move to um, drawing uh, the Templar cross and from this creating an octagon. Because it's 12, 12 as in base 60, but also 12 divides into thirds very easily. That's 12 divided by 3 is 4. And it also divides into quarters. 12 divided by 4 is 3. That's why um, base 12 or a Sumerian base 60 is such an excellent system for weights and measures. It deals with quarters and thirds very well. Um, it's not always the most easiest calculations to do, but... In, in so many ways, it's a lot better than metric, also because of the um, well, the way that the numbers um, connect to all sorts of metrology, whether it's time, astronomy, uh, music, geometry, of course, and maths. Now, I'll put the blue one. So, highlighting one. We're going to highlight the axes created from this flower pattern on the inside. Two, three, and with that, I'm going to start with one. It doesn't really matter which, and then I'm going to ignore. So I'm going to go from nine to one. And then one to five. And five back to nine. So we've created an equilateral triangle. And if we use the remaining three, seven, eleven, and three, we now create a six pointed star of hexagram, um, better known as the Star of David. But of course, that predates. Um, that whole period in history by many thousands of years, so been usurped, I would say. So now we have the six pointed star. Now, with the um, remaining six points, I'll highlight 12, 10, 8, 
six, four, two. So I'm going to follow the same rule again. Start it. Um, also, you can see how these lines pass through the points created by the six pointed star bit. So I'm going to start at six and enter ten. Remember, we skip. We skip one. So from six to ten. Ten to two. Uh, clock people into their clocks might get an idea of 10 to 2. Oh, 10 minutes past 10. A couple minutes short, but anyway. Okay, so we have our first red triangle, and we've 1, 2, 3, so 4, 8, and 12. We're going to create another triangle. Now essentially what we've done is create two Star of Davids, each one at a slight tilt from the other, and that gives us a 12-pointed star, it comes out of the um, seed of life. So, uh, okay, the Templar cross. Um, you'll see that very often, the Maltese or the Templar cross. It, it is purely, well, it's, people use it as a symbol, but it, it at its foundation, it is a system for measuring time and distance. It's not just a pretty pattern. There is a, a mountains of, of, of uh, information that will come there. But what do I mean by... So from 11 to 5, and now from 1 to 7... Now from 10 to 4, and from 8 to 2. And here we have how this 12 star pattern creates the 8 pointed star pattern of the Maltese slash Templar cross. Um, it's really a Maltese cross, Templar cross. It's made from a 24-pointed star, but you know, names is names. The construction is what's important here. Um, also, what you can extract from here is we have uh, so I want to hot this point, this point, this point, and this point. When you create a 12-pointed star, you also create a series of squares. Now, use your mind's eye a little bit, but if I tilt that, it's a series inside here so this you see this square here but this is only one so as we you can rotate that around and there's a series in there so we have squares from the hexagon which is equilateral triangle emerges the hexagon seed of life from that six pointed star pattern we get the 12 pointed star pattern in here um, consists of several squares so we can draw perfect squares as a template but uh, we also get um, uh, points that uh, create um, an, an octagon, but I'll do that for, for another episode. And uh, yeah, okay, so time, uh, geometry, the 360 degree compass and base 60 measuring systems. Um, they all, as of with earlier episodes of, again, um, 144 is, 144 is a, well, a repeating number, but in the metrology, symbology, uh, everywhere. So, yeah. Okay, so there we have time, the compass, the seed of life, Templar cross, squares, triangles, all comes out of the same geometry uh, and measurements. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.